Captain Cook? That's not you? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV final episodes that explained everything. Who knows when we'll all be together like this again? For this list, we're looking at the live-action television episodes that gave audiences answers to the majority of questions they were waiting for all series long. Also, we'll be covering flash-forwards and final outcomes beyond the plot's resolution. Major spoiler alerts are in store as we explore how each series ends. What show's final episode shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below! Number 10. Daybreak – Battlestar Galactica Across a vast galaxy lies a planetary system called the Twelve Colonies of Kobol. For years, the colonies have fought against their greatest adversary known as the Cylons. We can't let them go. Hmm. Unfortunately, I agree. If we do, they'll return one day and seek revenge. It's in their nature. When a surprise Cylon strike occurs on the colonies, only one colonial fighting ship, Battlestar Galactica, remains intact. Their last hope for survival is to search for a mythical planet called Earth. In the sci-fi series' final episodes, Battlestar Galactica and the remaining civilian spaceships finally arrive at Earth. Today, our journey is at an end. We have arrived at Earth. It's revealed that the future colonists' lineage is the present-time people of Earth, which also consists of humanoids in support of the Cylons and early humans. She lived in what is now Tanzania, over 150,000 years ago. Along with her Cylon mother, and human father. This means we were watching the past and not the future this whole time. We're still in orbit with our shock and awe over this revelation. Number 9. Mr. Monk and the End – Monk This show stars Tony Shalhoub as the titular ex-police detective. After the trauma of his wife's murder, Monk returns to crime-solving as a private investigator with the help of his friends. Is this a joke? Someone tries to kill my husband and you send in Rain Man? Mrs. St. Clair, I can assure you, Mr. Monk's involvement is an indication of just how seriously we are taking this case. He closes almost every case, except his wife's death. In the series finale, Monk finds a video made by his wife Trudy, in which she shared that she had a past relationship with a man named Rickover. Sweetheart, I am not perfect. I made a mistake. A big mistake. It was 15 years ago. Before we met, I had an affair. This affair resulted in a child who was believed to have died shortly after birth. Later, Monk faces off with Rickover, who confesses to killing Trudy to keep the affair secret. Before Rickover takes his own life, he says a few words that we later discover mean that his child with Trudy is alive. So our tissues were ready when Monk saw Trudy's daughter for the first time. Number 8. The Last Forever – How I Met Your Mother We begin with a story about a father, Ted, telling his kids how he met their mother. Kids, I'm going to tell you an incredible story. The story of how I met your mother. Are we being punished for something? <laughs> no. Yeah, is this going to take a while? Yes. But the mystery for us became not how, but who is their mother. We place pieces together as we follow Ted, Robin, Barney, Marshall, and Lily throughout the sitcom's many seasons. In the last episode, we're finally told about Ted meeting Tracy under her umbrella in 2013. Excuse me. Hi. Hi! I'm the, the best man. Yeah, get in here, get in here. Get oh, in here. thanks. Here, uh, let me. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Great show tonight. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Ted becomes aware of that exact forgotten umbrella, and they suddenly realize how they've always just missed each other so many times in the past. While we're then shown parts of their love story, Ted's wife and the kid's mother Tracy ultimately passes away in 2024. When it's all said and done, his children make him realize that he loved Robin in his past as well, and that it's okay to take another chance at love. This is a story about how you're totally in love with Aunt Robin. And you're thinking about asking her out, and you want to know if we're okay with it. Ted later reunites with Robin with hope for the future. Number 7. To Right the Wrongs of Many – Orphan Black This thriller commences with a chill, as Sarah sees a woman, who matches her likeness, take her own life at a train station. Due to her curious nature, she assumes Beth's life. While studying Beth's past, 
Sarah discovers that she is a carbon copy from a sinister cloning trial. Along the way, she finds her other clones like Allison, Helena, and Cosima. We're clones. We're someone's experiment and they're killing us off. Is that helpful? In the final episode, Sarah takes down P.T. Westmoreland, a.k.a. John Matheson, a neolutionist leader behind the illicit cloning experiments. Later, we see the sister clones' futures. Allison and her husband are living peacefully, Helena is caring for her babies, and Cosima is healing the rest of the clones. And we finally get to see a tranquil Sarah with her daughter and Felix. Okay, let's go, you guys. We ready? Yes. Felix, you got the food? Seven cold beer and a pork pie. Nice, okay, you're driving then. Where's my fishing rod? Number six, one last ride, Parks and Recreation. In Pawnee, a hopeful Leslie Nope is second in command at Parks and Recreation. Even though she's at odds with Ron, the department head, Leslie strives to do her best. Who knows what the future holds for me? Maybe I'll leapfrog Ron's job and become city manager. Of course, my first act as city manager would be to double the size of the parks department. Although I do expect a fight from Ron. While leading and dreaming of the presidency, she meets her eventual husband, Ben. As everyone fights for their community, lasting friendships are made and journeys collide. In the finale, flash forwards show how they help each other live their dreams, like starting new businesses and trying new job opportunities. As you all know, Tom's Bistro has been presented with a huge expansion opportunity. I don't want to make a decision until I hear from my senior advisory board, so is this a good idea? Meanwhile, they watch their kids grow and connect with one another. Also in this future, Leslie is now Indiana's governor. But the biggest flash forward reveal is the appearance of the Secret Service at Leslie and Ben's side during Gary's funeral, which implies that there's a president in our midst. Rest in peace, friend. They spelled his name wrong on the tombstone. Uh, close enough. Huh. It's time to go. Number five, whenever you're ready, the good place. This story begins the moment Eleanor's life has ended. Suddenly, she's faced with the bad place or the good place. Your life on Earth has ended, and you are now in the next phase of your existence in the universe. Cool. When the morally gray nature of Eleanor is told she's been put in the good place, it sends her, Chidi, Jason, and Tahani on a journey to discover who judges their morality. I'll go to the bad place with real Eleanor and you three can stay. Yes! We get to stay, baby! We did it! Wait. No. You're not going. I am. What? Why? When the system is found to be corrupt, they ultimately develop a system of redemption that can get people into the real good place. However, they can also choose to depart from the good place once they've had enough. Both Jason and Chidi make their farewells. Tahani decides to stay and study to become an architect. Meanwhile, former Bad Place architect Michael is permitted to join humanity with Eleanor's help, while Eleanor herself chooses to make her final exit. Number 4. The Series Finale – WandaVision Following the endgame battle, we wander into a 1950s-era sitcom featuring Wanda and Vision living their lives as a cute married couple in Westview. My wife and the flying saucers. My husband and his indestructible head. Aren't we a fine pair? As the decades wear on, Wanda and Vision decide to have a family, but we all wonder if it's real. Meanwhile, Agatha befriends Wanda for her power. Monica tries to protect Wanda from the director of S.W.O.R.D. The finale sees Wanda creating a mystical blockade to fight off Agatha, while Wanda's vision permits White Vision to access his memories. The Scarlet Witch then removes the barrier, says farewell to her family, and vanishes. A post credit scene later shows Maximoff reading The Darkhold, while the eerie sounds of her sons crying out for her are heard in the distance. Number 3. Everyone's Waiting, Six Feet Under With Nathaniel Fisher's passing, the family business is willed to his sons, Nate and David. Second, I bequeath the company Fisher & Sons Funeral Home and all real property and business interests attached as follows. This drama dives into the lives of the Fisher family, the workings of their funeral home, and how the complexities of death are faced. In the final episode, David considers putting the funeral home up for sale, but has a change of heart when he has a vision of his late father. You think you can just walk away from this? Are you really that stupid? It only 
gets closer, David. Instead, he and his boyfriend Keith make plans to buy out the other shareholders. Following a farewell dinner for Claire and her departure for New York, we see the future for the Fisher family. Our tears flow like a river as we see each character face something that has enveloped their lives. There's no one else to Number 2. Felina, Breaking Bad While teaching chemistry, Walter White's nature was unassuming. However, when Walt is faced with terminal cancer, he becomes an ominous force in meth dealing for his family's protection. He starts by enlisting Jesse, a pupil of his past. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. Unsurprisingly, Walt's life takes many turns. Thanks to his three identities, the life of Walt's lawyer has its own twists and turns, and he too must ultimately face the music in Better Call Saul's series finale. But it's Breaking Bad's final episode we're talking about here. Having arrived at a point of no return, Walt confesses to his wife Skylar that he dealt drugs for his own gain. Yeah. I have to hear one more time that you did this for the family. I did it for me. He also enacts vengeance on the neo-Nazi gang that he had originally paid to take out Jesse after their leader Jack orders Walt's death. Though Walt ultimately takes out Jack and his crew, the injuries he sustained during the machine gun fight are fatal. As Walt nears his end, we root for Jesse's escape. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Judgment – The Fugitive this crime drama follows a case where the odds are stacked against Richard Kimball. Kimball is deemed guilty of the murder of his wife, of which he is actually innocent. For Richard Kimball, this road is not of his choosing, and this day has come too soon. However, he has no evidence of the man he saw escape the scene. After desperately searching for answers for all this time, Kimball gets his wife's killer to admit what he did. You killed him! You killed my wife, didn't you? Did you? Kill Why? Because she wouldn't let me go. However, the one armed man reaches for a weapon while Kimball is distracted by the truth, leading to police lieutenant Gerard to take aim at Fred Johnson. The murderer then plunges to his death off of a carnival ride. Chandler, the only witness, is soon convinced to place Johnson at the scene of the crime in court. After four seasons and 120 episodes, Kimball is finally granted what he's been looking for peace. Tuesday, September 5th. The day the running stopped. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.